Brent Tech here, where Tech is made simple. Just a quick video to let you know, in case you hadn't noticed, that the Microsoft Photos app has recently received a major update for both Windows 10 and 11. And this update started rolling out recently um, through the Microsoft Store, and I received my update today, uh, the 7th of June, in my region of the world. Now, if you are running Windows 10, you may be interested to know that after this update has been applied, the Windows 11 style photos app is now um, being made available to Windows 10 users. And if we launch the app, you will see straight away on launch that the app now has a totally new look on Windows 10. And both the Windows 10 photos app now and the Windows 11 photos app now have the same features and look exactly the same. And uh, um, at first glance, you can see straight away that the app has taken on the look and feel of Windows 11. We can see all the image uh, uh, thumbnails and uh, previews have uh, the rounded corners. Even the, uh, the search has rounded corners. Uh, the menu, the drop-down fly-out menu here for your three-dotted three menu has uh, the rounded corners. So everything has taken on that uh, major Windows 11 look and feel now for the Windows 10 Photos app. And there are some options that have changed um, in this update for uh, Windows 11 users, but this update mainly would apply to Windows 10 users. As, as mentioned, you now get the Windows 11 Photos app made available for Windows 10. Now, in case you're interested, just to go through some of uh, the changes and different um, options that have been made available with this update, to the top left now, you, on, on startup, as you can see, it opens your main collections page. Then you have your albums, if you have any albums that you have created, your people, folders, and then, of course, your video editor. And, yeah, you have a little um, um, option for new, where you can create new project, video, import backup, and album. You can select different images, and then you can import an image or photo straight from your local storage into the app. You have your profile picture. Then you have your three dotted men menu, as mentioned, uh, with some options. And then if you uh, go explore these settings, you will see for Windows 10, it has received a couple of new changes and options as well. And then you have um, your different layouts. You can have a large layout, your medium, which is default, and then your small layout. And then obviously you can scroll as previously through your timeline. And then if I just click on an image, there are one or two changes just to highlight here. And previously, um, for Windows 10, if you um, um, uh, enlarged an image or opened an image, your full screen option was here in the bottom um, right-hand corner. And now we can see as moved to the top, just like it is on Windows 11. And if we click on that, it obviously puts that image and photo into full screen mode. And then this is a new option uh, made available uh, available for both Windows 10 and 11 users after applying the update, where you can zoom now the actual size. So if you click on that, it actually opens the original size of the image. And then if you click on it again, it zooms to fit. So I think that's a nice option for both Windows 10 and 11 users made available in the new Photos app now. So I just wanted to let you know. Um, go check it out if you, if you um, didn't know. And go download the um, uh, new Photos app from the um, Microsoft Store in Windows 10 and 11. And as mentioned, this mainly applies to um, Windows 10 users as that new Photos app now. Um, the Windows 11 style Photos app is now available for Windows 10 users. And um, for most of you, this will be updated automatically in the background on both operating systems in the Microsoft Store. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.